Voting got underway in Togo on Monday amid tensions over constitutional changes that could extend the 19-year-old rule of President Fauna Singbe. This election has been pushed back twice due to a fierce backlash from some opposition parties. They say a new charter adopted in March is a political manoeuvre designed to extend Nisingbe's tenure for life. In the capital Lome, Kalanvi Bubuyabu has just cast his vote. We've always wanted change. That's why we voted, and we hope for that change. Under the new parliamentary system of government, the president will be elected by parliament instead of by universal suffrage. Details remain unclear, though under the new constitution, Parliament will appoint a position described as President of the Council of Ministers, who will have extensive authority to manage Togo's government affairs. Amendments approved in Parliament earlier in April shortened presidential terms to four years from five with a two-term limit. But this does not take into account time already spent in office, which could enable Nisingbe to stay in power until 2033 if he is re-elected when his mandate expires in 2025. He has not yet stated his intentions. Togo's parliament is effectively under the control of Nisingbe's UNIR party, after the opposition boycotted the last legislative poll. However, the opposition is taking part this time. Opposition leader Jean-Pierre Fabre said he was surprised to find the courtyard at the polling centre was not as crowded as usual. Mais, dans le bureau de vote... However, inside the voting booth where I cast my ballot, there was still a small line. Elsewhere, I don't sense much enthusiasm, which is somewhat concerning to me. Togo has seen years of resistance to the Nisingbe family's rule. The current president was first elected in 2005 to succeed his father, Nisingbe Ayodama, who took office in a coup in 1967. Nisingbe was re-elected in a 2020 election, disputed by the opposition. <laughs> Police crackdowns on political demonstrations have been routine under Nisingbe, as they were during his father's rule. Over 4 million people are registered to vote for 113 lawmakers among 2,352 candidates. Provisional results are expected from Tuesday.